Differences between butterflies and moths. Moths and butterflies both belong to the order of Lepidoptera, but there are numerous physical and behavioral differences between the two insect types. That includes butterflies being active during the day while moths are nocturnal. Moths are much more diverse than butterflies. There are about 160,000 species of moths versus about 11,000 of butterflies. The stages between larva and adult have their distinctions too. What follows is an in-depth review of moth versus butterfly. One, feeding. Butterflies pull nectar from flowers. Some species drink tree sap and fruit juices. Others feed on moisture from carrion or dung. Butterflies also partake of pollen and nutrients like salt, which they get from muddied areas and puddles. Moths do not eat textile, the larvae do. The webbing clothes moth and case-making clothes moth are commonly feasting on fabrics. They enjoy natural fibers in curtains, bed sheets, upholstery, and clothes, and have an appreciation for wool, silk, cotton, cashmere, and lint. Most moths live on a liquid diet, obtaining it from variety of sources including liquids from flower nectar, rotting fruit, bird droppings, sap, honeydew, and even animal dung. 2. Behavior Butterflies are primarily diurnal, flying in the daytime. Moths are generally nocturnal, flying at night. However, there are moths that are diurnal, such as the buck moth and there are butterflies that are crepuscular, meaning they fly at dawn and dusk. 3. Antennae Shape Moth antennae tend to be leaf or feather shape. Butterfly antennae tend to be long, bare, and eject from the head in a club shape. They also have a bulb at the end. Although this is normally the case, there are some moths that have slender antennae rather than feathered. 4. Anatomy Moths have a frenulum, which is a wing coupling device. Butterflies do not have frenulums. Frenulums join the forewing to the hindwing, so the wings can work in unison during flight. 5. Their wings when resting. One of the most obvious differences between butterflies and moths is their resting wing position. Moths rest with their wings open, whereas butterflies tend to rest with their wings closed. However, many butterflies sunbake with their wings open. 6. Pupae. In the metamorphism from caterpillar to butterfly, caterpillars spin a pupa consisting of hardened protein. On the other hand, moth caterpillars form a silk pupa, which is known as a cocoon. Despite this being a generalized rule, there are some exceptions. Prime examples include gypsy moths form a pupae that resembles that of a butterfly and the Parnassius butterfly, which makes a cocoon. 7. Eyes Moths have superposition eyes, which reflect light at the same angle that they take it in. This type of eye creates images up to 1,000 times brighter than acquisition eyes, but sacrifices image quality. On the other hand, butterflies have apposition eyes, which work by gathering multiple images and combining them in the brain. 8. Wing Coloration Butterflies, of course, are famous for the bright and unique patterns of their wings. Butterflies also camouflage themselves in this way. Their brightly colored wings are often an attempt to tell predators that they contain nasty-tasting chemicals. Moths tend to be duller and less vibrant in color, with less intricate and striking patterns. 
there are often patterns of obscuring swirls or zigzags that camouflage them from predators. That's all for today. Please share your experiences in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you next time.